Today's 4.8 magnitude quake making history in our area, the strongest in the state of New Jersey since 1783. The epicenter, 45 miles west of Manhattan in White House Station in Reddington, New Jersey. People feeling the shaking up and down the East Coast from Washington to Maine. And tonight, there are no reports of injuries. More than 42 million people did likely feel the rumbling, and we are still on alert tonight for aftershocks. We have team coverage for you tonight. Lonnie Quinn breaks down the seismic activity. Dick Brennan with more on what to do if another quake strikes. But we begin with Christine Sloan and the latest aftershock to hit our area. Christine, what a day and night. Certainly has been, Maurice. There have been several aftershocks, including a 3.8 magnitude aftershock here in Gladstone, where we're standing about 20 minutes away from the epicenter of the tremor. The 4.8 magnitude earthquake rattling residents in an area where earthquakes are rare. It sounded like 10 freight trains going at the same time. And I heard it felt like the house jumped. And then I thought, what was that? And then it started to shake. The quake knocking objects off of walls. Terrifying dogs and these horses in Tewksbury, New Jersey. In Reddington, the epicenter of the earthquake, and Owen tried to calm her own horses. It was. It was very scary. It sounded like something a bomb had gone off. And... Uh, um, my horses were outside in the field running around like crazy. In Reddington, a tree came crashing down after the jolt, and the upper portion of the historic gristmill, built in 1760, collapsed. Crews also responded to dozens of gas leaks. And just after 6 o'clock, an aftershock. Seismologists say expect more in the next week, especially near the epicenter. While aftershocks are concerned for this first 24, 36, 72 hour period out to about a week. Um, the entire East Coast is a seismically active area, but most of the earthquakes are relatively small. New Jersey's Department of Community Affairs also telling residents to check their structures to make sure they have no cracks. We're live in Gladstone, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS2 News. Okay, Christine, thank you.